Well, I get a lot of emails and comments about painted furniture, basically asking me for advice on primers and fills and things like that. And so I thought it'd be a good idea just to make one video completely dedicated to get a, getting a decent finish on a piece of painted furniture. So what I'm going to do is first talk about some of the materials that I would use if I'm going to build a piece of furniture that I know I'm going to paint. And then we'll go ahead and paint this drawer front and cover all the steps involved. A good wood choice for painted projects is poplar. Poplar has a nice tight grain. It's really easy to work with. It very rarely has knots and it's relatively inexpensive compared to other furniture grade woods. Now for sheet goods, I like birch plywood. Birch plywood also paints really nicely and it's also readily available. If you've bought a piece of painted furniture and it's made out of pine, you wanna make sure that you spot prime the notch using shellac based bin primer. And I usually will use two coats. Now that still doesn't guarantee that the knots won't bleed through the paint, but it will help. You'll notice that if you look at someone's home or maybe your own home, uh, if you've painted over the trim, there's a good chance that the trim was pine and you'll be able to see where the knots are. I'll take a quick picture of the fascia board of my beehive and you'll see where those knots have bled through the paint. So that's a good reason to avoid building anything out of pine that you plan on painting. Okay, so now for finishing our piece of furniture, the first thing I like to do is sand the whole piece of furniture. I use 150 grit silicone carbide paper. It's just a good sandpaper and it holds up better than other sandpapers. You can find that at any hardware store. It's usually like a blue gray color. So I'll sand the whole piece of furniture with 150 grit, just cutting any of the sharp edges. Once the whole piece of furniture has been sanded, then vacuum, get rid of any dust, and now finish the inside of the cabinet and the inside of the drawers with two coats, you can use three if you like, of the poly acrylic by Minwax. This is very easy to use. I apply it with a foam roller, spread it out with a foam brush, sand in between coats with 220 grit silicone carbide paper. I've already clear coated the inside of the drawer, so now the next step is to tape out with painter's tape so you have a nice clean transition between the painted finish and the natural finish. Now the drawer is ready for its first coat of primer. And for the most part, I use Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore. It's a latex acrylic primer. And I'm sure there's other good latex acrylic primers by different brands, but the hardware store that's closest to me happens to be a Benjamin Moore dealer. So I often use Benjamin Moore paints. A good rule of thumb when you're painting is always try to paint in the direction of the grain. It's been about an hour and the primer is now dry and if you run your hand across the surface of the drawer you'll feel that it's very rough and that's because the primer has raised the grain and all the painted surface will now need to be sanded. And what I like to do at this point is fill any of the nail holes and imperfections with joint compound. I like to fill the imperfections after I've got one coat of primer on the project because the primer makes it really easy to see any of the imperfections. They just stand out and that way I don't miss anything with the wood fill. I've allowed the fill or the joint compound to dry and now I'm going to sand the primer and the fill at the same time. And this is where it's really important to wear a dust mask. You really should always wear a dust mask when you're sanding, but especially when you're sanding paint. Okay, well I just finished sanding the primer and the fill at the same time, always trying to sand in the direction of the grain, and then I vacuumed up all the dust and now I'm ready for the second and uh, last coat of primer. Again, I'm using the latex acrylic primer. I'll prime the drawer front, let it dry, give it a light sanding, and then it's ready for the finish coat. I like to let the second coat of primer dry overnight so it really has time to set up and cure. And I've already come in this morning and given the drawer front a light sanding 
this time using 220 sandpaper because I don't want to sand through the primer, I just want to smooth it out a little bit more and get it ready for the finished coat. Now at this point you could use an oil paint on this primer or a latex paint. I think that most people find latex paints much easier to use simply because it's a soap and water cleanup and it's a much faster dry time and that's what I'm using. I'm using a semi-gloss uh, semi-gloss latex paint by Benjamin Moore and because my primer is white and my finished coat is white I'll probably be able to get away with just one coat of finished paint. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.